My question is, why was there a division in Islam after the demise of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? It was not immediately after the demise of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. There was a Khilafat al-Rajda for 30 years. And during the time of Hazrat Usman, that rift started between Muslims. And it was because of the hypocrites of that time who didn't want Islam to flourish. But it was also prophesied by the Holy Prophet that after my demise, there will be a true Khilafat, that is khilafat e rajda for some years. And then there will be a rift and division among Muslims. Then there will be rift for a longer period, almost thousand years. And after that, Prophet Messiah will come. And he will again try to unite the Muslims. So this is what we MDs have been doing, that we are trying to unite the Muslims. And this is the prophecy of the Holy Prophet ﷺ that after the demise of the Prophet Messiah, the institution of Khilafat will start. And that is what we are saying, that now there is no Khilafat among other Muslims, only among Ahmadis there is a Khilafat. And people are coming to join us day by day. Every year thousands of people, even hundreds of thousands of people come to join the Jamaat. So this is how we are increasing and others are decreasing. So this was the prophecy of the Holy Prophet ﷺ, that whenever there will be some worldly desire among Muslims, then there will be a division. And that is what we saw. There were kings after the demise of the Holy Prophet ﷺ, after the 30 years of Khilafat al-Rajda, Although it is called Khilafat, but it was not Khilafat. It was a sort of kingship. So they were kings. And the Khilafat was inherited Khilafat. Whereas there is no concept of inherited Khilafat in Islam. Okay? But now, since you have accepted Ahmadiyyat, you have joined the Jamaat of the Prophet Messiah Islam, and you are the person who has fulfilled the prophecy of the Holy Prophet ﷺ. You have accepted the desire of the Holy Prophet ﷺ. So you are a lucky person. Assalamu alaikum.